and welcome back to my YouTube channel. There's been something going on on the internet right now with one of my current favorite YouTubers who is brand new to me and everyone has been calling him the Asian Bob Ross. And if you don't know, his name is Watercolor by Shibasaki. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that right. Please correct me if I'm wrong. He is an amazing watercolor instructor on YouTube. I'm gonna post like his handle or links, everything in the description below because he just warms my heart. I actually found him on Reddit um, on the subreddit Wholesome Memes, which I'll also be putting in the description because you should seriously check that out. <laughs> so I found him on there and he is just literally the Asian Bob Ross. He's amazing, he's so wholesome, so kind, and he has a beautiful voice for videos. So. I thought since I just did a video of me following a Bob Ross tutorial, I would do a video of me following one of Watercolor by Shibasaki's tutorials. And he does a lot of really, really cute ones, so I think that I can handle this. I'm going to show you guys, maybe somewhere on the screen here, a few of my own watercolor paints that I have done, because I'm okay at it. You can check out my blog at thetinyherbivore.com or, you know, my Instagrams, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. I'm all over the place. But today, it's a rainy day. You can tell by the lighting, it's not a very bright day. And we're gonna just do some watercolor paints because I think today's the perfect day to do that. Um, so it's not gonna be totally exact because I'm not Shibasaki. Like I, I can't do his work. His work is absolutely beautiful. It's just gorgeous. And honestly, I've never been more uh, motivated by somebody by somebody who doesn't even speak English. Like his videos are usually subtitled and it's just watching his videos make me want to paint. And I think that that's an amazing skill to have as a teacher. So if you're watching this, Shibasaki, I'm hoping that's how I just say your name like that. Um, thank you so much for everything that you do because honestly, we're watching and we love it. So thank you. And again, all of his stuff is linked below and the link to the video I'm going to be following is also going to be below so <laughs> check it out. Okay, let's just get started and enjoy this video guys. Thanks for watching. あ、顔を塗りますこの時ね、ここはちょっと肝心なところなんだけど、ほら、ここにブツブツと光ってる明かりとかあるでしょ。そこをね。紙の白残しますそしてあとは全部この中を塗ってしまいます後ろはこの光った粒々とか少なめにして塗ってしまいましょうそして次は黄色ですね明るい黄色ですこれでここのねヘタのあたりですねこのあたりをちょっと塗り
こうするとイチゴがテーブルの上に置いてあるって感じしますよね。うん。どうでしょう。ちょっと乾かして、もう少し暗い色でもう一回、この影のところですね。ここら辺、ちょっと塗ってあげます。黄色で粒々を少し足してあげます。こっちもね。はい。Okay, so this is the final product. You guys obviously already saw it, and it's okay.、Um, I could have been better. You saw the halfway through, I was like,、hmm, maybe I should have sketched it like he did instead of just try to paint. Um, but you know what? I think it's kind of adorable. And I think he would still be proud of me for trying. So, if you guys are interested in following one of his tutorials, check it out below. It's Watercolor by Shibasaki. He's super, super sweet. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if you guys like it. <laughs> if you have any recommendations on brushes or paints or literally anything that could make me a better. Watercolor painter, let me know because this could be better, but it's not bad. It's one of those things where, like, if you look at it from far away, it's kind of cute, right? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys hopefully next week. Bye.